You might be asking why is these guys doing Crotolaria in a greenhouse or Sunhem? And there are quite a few reasons for that. Sunhem gives you much, much more than a compost. Nitrogen fixation, green manure, suppression of nematodes and suppression of fusarium. We want to bring nitrogen. The inoculum is the one who is bringing it from the atmosphere, from the air, down to the roots. We want to increase the green manure in the greenhouse, rejuvenating it and giving a chance for the healthy soil uh, aspects come into play when we get more and more microorganisms working together with the plants. To fight nematodes, which is becoming a real problem in Kenya in many greenhouses, and the other one is to fight fusarium, which is again quite a big problem in many areas. Um, food inoculation, sowing the seeds. The next step is what we call we need to have a very heavy shower on our on our hands so that we can uh, one bury the seed. Another one is to make sure that uh, you, the seed has enough water for for germination. We'll have a very heavy shower. I'm a cooking here, my jimingi. I found that the idea of kuzika is on bagu. Ya pili, ni kusaidia hiyo mbegu wakati inaota ikuwe na mbaji mingi, ni kusaidia kuota haraka. We're about 17 days after we sowed the crotillaria. We had first uh, emergence after 7 days. And you can have a look how it looks actually after 17 days when you are doing land preparation for sandhem you need to do diagonal land preparation don't use one way when doing land prep you do diagonal you crisscross the farm so that you can have uniform soil and also i would like to explain some few points about why we are doing this sandhem in the greenhouse and you all know that very few farmers are doing crop rotation in the greenhouse and this has caused the greenhouse soils to become exhausted there is no more biodiversity and this has caused farmers to start doing a, to start planting their crops in a, in the tra in the troughs in papers instead of planting it, them in the soil for example if you take so uh, forest soil it has it has a lot of microorganisms most uh, bacteria that are important they are in the forest soil and the, the, the soil in our greenhouses is already depleted so with sun hemp, you are able to, to improve the soil biodiversity to its original state or close to its original state. We also have another reason of suppressing the weeds. From my demo, you can see that uh, where there is very good cropping, there is no competition with the weeds. But if you come to a place where, for example here, where the germination was very poor, you can see that there are already weeds that are coming up and this will give sun hemp competition. You need to plant it very closely and very nicely so that you achieve the desired result of suppressing weeds in your farm. We have seen farmers stopping to grow crops because of fusarium wilt, but we have a very good solution, a natural one. You plant sun hemp, it is going to suppress the fusarium wilt in your greenhouse. And that is all about renewing your soil, kickstarting your soil to give it an original state like before you even started planting in your greenhouse and those are some very good points it's not expensive to do the crop because after eight weeks you plow in it's it's not like a something that will take you more than three months before you can do your pl next planting in the greenhouse hi again farmers we are here two months less three days from when we had sown the sun hemp in the greenhouse and as you can see we are already at around 30 to 40 percent flowering this is the right stage for us to chop up the crotillaria we gave irrigation to field capacity at sowing and later on we gave another two auxiliary irrigations and we didn't add any fertilizer i hope you can get vizuri wakulima hii hii sunhem ilikuwa imepandwa kila sehemu ya hii ya hii greenhouse 
lakini utapata kuwa iko ile kidogo kidogo yenye haijamea na pia iko ile yenye yenye inaelekea kukauka hii inatuambia kuwa wakati greenhouse imepandwa ile capsicum ama ile matunda mengine kama cucumbers eh? hii ndio jia yenye watu wenye wanashughulikia hiyo kilimo kupitia kumaanisha kuwa waliweza kukausha hii mchanga kabisa hiyo ndio tunaita compaction ama waka, waka, wakafanya hii kuwe na kitu inaitwa hard pan eh? unapata kuwa wakati huu mmea unakuwa uko na kitu tunaita kama taproot eh? the taproot eh, ina wakati inaelekea chini inahitaji ile mchanga yenye ime ni rusi kidogo ama ile imeachana kidogo ili iweze kupenyeza ndani hiyo ni katika ile siku zake za kwanza kwanza kama siku moja mpaka mwezi mzima inajisaidia yenyewe ili kuweka matawi mingi hiyo matawi mingi ndio tunahitaji juu ya kitu tunaita biomass wakati hiyo mzizi inafika mahali inapata kuwa ni pagumu haiwezi ienda chini sana hiyo mmea inakauka kwa hivyo wakati unapanda hii mmea ni vizuri unatarisha shamba yako vizuri Una, unahakikisha kuwa ile mchanga yote imeachana vizuri na ili uweze kupea nafasi mzizi ya sunhem kwenda chini ili iweze kutengeneza biomass mzuri ikipata kitu mahali pagumu hii pia ni dalili mzuri ya kuambia mchanga yako iko na kitu inaitwa hard pan unafaa ile kuweka tinga tinga mahali pale ulime chini kabisa ama kwa tinga tinga utafuta njia mbadala kama yenye tunaenda, tunaenda kuleta kuletea nini wakulima ya kupanda ile cover crop yenye kumechanganya inaweza kukusaidia kutengeneza hiyo mchanga wako iko tayari kulimwa na kuwekwa kwa mchanga ili tupe kitu inaitwa green manure sanam kotelaria will give you around 5 to 6 tons of green manure per acre this green manure has other attributes for example the nitrogen fixating we are banking on around 90 units of uh, nitrogen per acre juu ya hii matawi yake mingi unapata kuwa kwekwe itakuwa imewekwa chini kabisa kiwango cha kuwa hautapata kwekwe kwa kwa shamba yako manufaa ya tatu ya huu mmea ni chakula mzuri sana ya ngombe yenye iko na protein kiwango kikubwa cha 19 kwa mia. 19%. Taking all that into consideration uh, and with a very short period of less than two months, uh, we believe this is an excellent, excellent crop for your rotation, especially when you are on monoculture, when you have only one crop to grow in the greenhouse. Na pia kwa wakulima wenye wanapanda matunda, miche miche ya matunda ama miti ya matunda kama vile avocados wakati unataka kukaribisha nyuki kwa shamba yako ya kufanya ile kitu inaitwa pollination kwa wakati wenye mkulima pengine anaweza kuwa akifanya kipande kidogo cha shamba kama vile tunavyofanya hapa kwa kuku na unaweza kuwa huna ile shirenda ya kukatakata ama chopa ama ile yenye unaweza kuwa ukitumia kukatakata chakula ya ngombe unaweza tumia panga yako uhakikishe kuwa umekatakata kipande vidogo vidogo mwana wa kulima wa, wa mchere wa Konoroto Vita zile za kurudisha ile kulima zile shamba zao hiyo ndio inafaa kuwa inatumika kufanya hii kazi lakini kama hauna na shamba yako ni kidogo unatumia panga unahakikisha kwa umekatakata upande vidogo vidogo kabla ukuje na na jembe yako ama ili ile kipingine unatumia kuja kumechua ume, umechanganya hii yote lakini kwa sasa hii yenye tumekata hapa hii tunaenda nayo kwa kwa shirenda ukatakata vipande vidogo tuchukue na wheelbarrow turudisha hapa tuweze kuchanganya na mchanga yetu I want to add also the cost of this crop is extremely cheap compared to let's say cow manure or chicken manure we're talking about around 8500 to 9000 uh, Kenya shilling an acre 